Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village, specifically Rakurara's room. I was about to say my room, but um, well, I'm in my room now, so not my character's room. So anyway, let us prepare to take on the Rathian. So most importantly, the Queen of the Skies is able to poison you with her very venomous tail. So I'm just going to make sure there's no junk in my inventory. Paintballs, Mega Potion, Antidotes. Yes, I'm just gonna take for good measure some... Oh wait, I only have one Flash Bomb, that's not good. Um, yes, I'm gonna make some... Oh my gosh, I only have one Bomb Casing as well. Just gonna make a couple more. Um, ah, I got garbage, darn it. Let's make 10 right here. Um, I'll take care of the garbage later, I'll take care of the trash. Yeah, so... Oh, flash Bombs. Let's just bring 5 as well. Oh, five star max anyways. So, um, what else do we possibly need against Rathian? Mm, I think that should be it. I have a ton of coatings that I've just been gathering from <laughs> the quests, interestingly enough, and not used any of them yet because my bows do not allow me to use them, so I am sad. But, I believe this bow actually can use the power coding and sleep coding as well as exhaust coding. Hmm. Close range coding and pain coding are not that useful, at least not right now, so I shall take along power codings. I don't want to waste too much materials uh, making the other codings yet because after all this is still low rank. So yeah. I don't believe that I need that much resources. Just getting the power coatings in so it's a little easier to take down the Rathian. So Queen Rathian, no no, not Queen Rathian. Queen dancing in the mountain, hunt the Rathian. And yep. It's at the peaks in the day with Jaggi and Bufango as well. That does not bode well for me. <laughs> so I've already been to the hot springs. I've already um, grabbed the Yukumo milk coffee to give me... Uh, not give me, give Rakuhara a little bit more attack. Attack up small. So it stacks together with the... Oh, oh, shite. Just completely wasted a potion right there. How pathetic. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. I do have a good supply of um, herbs, so... But I wonder if I have a good supply of uh, blue mushrooms, though. So in any case, um, I believe... Rathian is going to start at area 8 because that's where she usually goes to rest with her eggs. That's basically where her nest is by the way. So I'm... Before we head into the area, I'm just going to equip my power coatings. So it saves some time that um, I don't have to do it right in front of her face and risk getting fireballed. So I'm just going to pull out my bow and just to, to coat your bow and arrows, basically just, not, not bow and arrows, to coat your arrows, just basically hit the triangle and circle button at the same time with the coating selected. So yeah, the Jaggi is right there. And let me just... Oh, be silent for a while. Oh, oh my gosh, sorry about that um, frame rate issue right there. <laughs> but as you can see, the Rathian is a really protective mother. And she's gonna roll. Oh, I didn't get to roll out of it. So basically, the Rathian and Rathalos, they both have one of the most. Um, this out. Uh, most disgusting roars in the sense that you need to roll perfectly in order to avoid it. Like, the timing has to be perfect. Like. There's only one possible timing in which you can roll and avoid it, so it's really, really difficult to. Of course, you can make your chances a little bit better by um, having the... What's that called? Evade skills? Oh my gosh, nope. Yeah. So, going back to the ecology, Rathian is a really protective mother. She protects her nest really well. As you can see, she wouldn't even let the Jaggies get close, but obviously the Jaggies were about to eat her egg already. Oh my gosh. She's a little bit too far, so wasted my power coatings right there. One shot. Oh, she took down the wall. 
or the pillar, whatever. So I'm just gonna play it really safe. I'm only gonna draw my bow when yeah, I know it's safe to do so, and shit, she's angry. Ah, I couldn't roll out of it. Yeah, I've brought some flash bombs, so in case she stays in the sky like this for long, okay, she doesn't. Okay, got her in the head, and she poisoned Avon. Cool. I am sad. Okay, she's she's whoa. Yep, that's uh oh shit, wind pressure. Ouch! She stepped on me. All right, you dare take off? Whoa, nope, she doesn't. So she's doing like two consecutive tail swipes, which is uh, why stamina management is important. <laughs> if you are in close range, that is. So, okay, she's. Back then, what she did was a sort of a talent strike grab thing. So if you were to get hit by that, she would start feasting on you. Which isn't very nice, to be honest. Oh, I broke her head already. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that was close. So the other few things I can break is uh, are her wings. So her wings are doing perfectly fine now. They don't seem to affect her in any way, even if you break them. But, well, you do, you do, be, you do get... Uh, certain drops from specifically from breaking her wings. So why not? Yep, one side of her wing is broken. The her right wing is broken. Oh, her left wing is broken as well. Sweet. I believe I can break her back as well. Um, I'm not too sure though. I know you can break it in four. Oh, I think I just broke it. Did I? No, it doesn't look broken. Never mind. She just flinched. Breaking her back, uh, or the Ratian slash Rathalos' back in for you is a thing. Not sure about in Quadro 3rd, I can't remember. <laughs> I apologize for my bad memory. So, okay, I'm just really, I really don't want to screw this up. Because Ratian is basically one of the first few sh much stronger uh, large monsters you actually face in this game. At this point. Yeah, I must emphasize at this point. Okay, she's oh 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 gosh oh gosh the tail sweep. There we go, flash bomb. Yeah. So you have to be really careful about the tail sweep because one, it poisons you. Two, it does a shit ton of damage. And uh, yeah. And but to do that, she has to take to the skies. So that means that if you're fast enough, you can actually react and return her with a flash bomb. And when you flash bomb her while she, or well, while she's um, in the sky, she would be stunned. So yeah, she's gonna do another tail sweep, that's for sure. There we go. Tail swipe, tail sweep, whatever. So yeah, this applies to any flying monster. Oh my gosh, I don't wasted that powerfully. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Just one more thing to take notice: um, when these monsters take off, or oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yep, that move is scary. One thing you take note is that um, when fly monsters take off or land nearby you, uh, they sort of exert this thing called wind pressure. So this is a very similar concept to how helicopters take off or land, where you know they really cause huge amounts of wind if you haven't experienced it before. This is a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just the kind of thing that really happens. So wind pressure will cause your hunter to flinch as well, so you've got to be careful with that. So let me show you for example, if I stand really close and she lands, see that is wind pressure right there. Oh, I got hit twice anyways. Oh my gosh. You have to be really careful with wind pressure though as well because um, it can really put your hunter in a very bad situation. Just like how they can chain moves at you after they roar. So, and another thing is that if you flinch a monster while they are in the air, they fall down to the ground. Just like that. Like previously. Like 10 seconds ago maybe. So I'm just going to try and do as much DPS to her as much as I can. I was in a bad spot though, I should have gone to a front. Whoa, another flip. Because in Portable 3rd, um, Ratian and Rathalos take the most damage to their heads. But in uh, For You, I believe it's changed to their backs. I can't remember. I think so. I believe so. Yeah, and um, that was annoying. So she's just going to keep doing this kind of uh, dies which end up in her falling over, tripping over. They don't they don't do too much, actually they do quite a bit, but they are more annoying than anything. And another thing to note is that when they are fatigued, they are unable to shoot their very scary balls of fire doom. Fiery doom. Yep. 
so I'm not too afraid of that. Just gonna keep firing arrows at her, and she would get angry quite shortly. Oh, I seem to have run out of power coatings as well. That's not good. Oh, but she's she's tired. She's limping. She's limping. Wow, this isn't a very difficult urgent quest, is it? So let's just see how f can we stop her from getting away. No, she got away. One of my favorite things to do as a bow or like as a ranged class when the flying monster is trying to get away is to shoot them right back down. So she's flying back, if I'm not wrong, to either area nine or her nest. And based on the music, it's her nest. So I'm just gonna pop this first aid mat because why not? It's free anyways, and I don't get to take it back home, so. Oh, oh, oh boy, she's angry. Ah, couldn't roll out of it again, as usual. I'm scrub. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Not really, actually. Ah, shite. She runs a bit too fast. Just gonna rain some arrows down. So it is possible, as you can see, like, um, there are certain different heat markers when you use the arrow rain, like, as you can see, this pelting kind of thing. And when it lands on a head, it actually does stun damage. Oh, wow, that was quite easy. So it's actually possible to stun a monster using a bow, but it's really, really difficult because each um, pellet that lands down from the sky does really, really little damage. Stun damage, that is. So, um, if you really want to challenge yourself and stun a monster using the arrow shower, you might want to use a bow with a focus type arrow shower. Focus type meaning that a the radius is very much smaller. As you can see, this is a wide, so you can see the circle is quite huge. In a focus type bow, the radius and the circle is actually much smaller. It's much more focused, like as the name itself implies. And it would be slightly easier to stun the monster. But you must remember that the monsters move a lot as well, so uh, when I say it's easier, it's actually not as easy as well. And I personally have not been able to successfully do that before. So, go ahead, give it a shot and tell me how it goes. <laughs> Although, yeah, I don't ever challenge me to do that because I probably can't. So yeah, that is Rathian down. So, four stars, here we come. So, let's see, we get some nice stuff. Okay, Rathian skill, Rathian talent. Shell, uh huh, and that is our first Ratian taken down, Queen of the Land. Interesting, wouldn't she be Queen of the Skies? Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever the case, um, let's see, a new magazine has been added to the bookshelf. So, there are many more speech bubbles again, let's just chat with these people. So, hello there, we have been say um, People have been saying that the village is safer now, getting more customers, yeah, I weren't used to the peddler. <laughs> okay, so welcome back, latest book of combos, yes, please, power charms and armor charms as well, organize a guide, um, so I really want to get the center box, right, yeah, I really want to get the um, book of combos, yes, because this would uh, give me better crafting chances, as you would know. I've said it before, so get it when, as and when you can. Armor charms and power charms are very useful as well, but um, for one, they are expensive. So, yeah, I would suggest that you get them maybe when you're a little bit more rich. And basically what this does is that um, when you have uh, um, an armor charm in your inventory when you go out to the field, it boosts your armor. And for the power charm, it boosts your attack. Uh, quite obvious. So. Organizer Guide basically increases your item box space. You can carry much more stuff in your item box, not with your hunter. So, yeah. I will not be getting it just yet, because I don't seem to be running out of space yet. But someday, somewhere along the lines of this game, I'll probably get it. So, that is about it. So, here, this little guy has stuff for us to know. Um, you're just talking about how you succeeded in taking down Aratia. Not bad, not bad. So... Fantastic, Ratian materials, and uh, yeah, looking forward to what materials and are bringing me next time. Mm -hmm. Cre old creative spirit got rekindled. Oh yeah, so he's gonna give us some armor spheres plus, which are pretty much stronger than armor spheres. They can be used to strengthen up, 
strength strengthen up the higher ranked weapons. So yeah, you can make armor sphere plus on your own by combi combining armor stone with Herculeums or Dragonite ore. Uh huh. So okay, those can be found in the volcanic area. All right. So remember, we have to find the Herculeum for the pumpkin armor set. So yeah, seems like Herculeums. We need to get them from the volcano. So um, having um, armor and weapon strengthen can make a hunt go a lot smoother, definitely. Especially with power coatings as well for bows. <laughs> so don't get, don't go stingy on me. All right, all right. Buff those puppies up, sure. Anyways, what's more important is that. Yes, I can craft the Queen Blaster now. So the Queen Blaster, as you can see, is this Ratian bow. It gives me um, spread. There's power, poison, and paralyzed coating, which is amazing to be used on. Uh, to, to be able to use, I mean. Then poison effect up. So essentially, the poison. I believe poison damage increases, so you poison monsters way more easily as compared to a uh, normal bow without this special effect. So. Oh, and it has the Arcshot Focus, the one, the arrow range which I was talking about. So yeah, maybe you can demonstrate it in the next video. And um, the only issue I have with it is that it's spread. So what I mean by spread, it's instead of shooting um, like a vertical roll, like the rapid bow, uh, rapid type shot, spread shoots it horizontally. And uh, it's not that bad, but it works more like a shotgun. So it makes you really have to get in close with the monster. And... Yeah, I mean, it's good, but it's bad. It, it it depends on what monster you're fighting. So, I will just upgrade it anyways because it's awesome. <laughs> yep, there we go. And, oh, I can't upgrade it just yet to the second level. We need Dragonite all for that. So, yeah. I can increase its attack though, so what? Oh, wow. It's Should I? Hmm. Hmm. I need armor spheres, I need two of them. Well, nah, I'm just gonna save up on these. And um, decorations, yes, you can start crafting decorations as I said earlier um, in, in a few videos back when... But we don't really need them yet because right now we're just going to rely on um, the default armor sets from armor crafting. We will someday though, um, have to rely on these gems and we're gonna have to make mix sets and stuff. Maybe during the high rank because low rank, I, I feel it's, it's not really worth the effort to you know go and um, plan out, get all the decorations and farm the charms you need to make a good set. Because after all, you're gonna blaze through low rank quite quickly if you know what you're doing. That is. So yeah, anyway, to, let's just talk a little bit about the Ratian vest um, right here. So it gives health, protection, and fire attack at the cost of recovery speed. So. Health essentially just increases your maximum health without having to go to the hot springs. So I don't think that's a very useful skill because after all, the hot springs are there to give you the health. Uh huh. But protection is useful because um, it basically gives you this effect called divine protection, and every time you get hit, there's a one third chance that you take, um, I believe, half the damage or one third the damage. I can't remember. Or you take one third damage reduce reduction. Um, yeah, in, ad, in, in other sense, in any case, it just basically grants you a bit more survivability at, um, with some luck. So yeah, it's not that important as compared to this one with the fast charge. So I just want to emphasize how good fast charge is on bows because that means that um, you actually get to... Um, what do you mean? You, you charge faster means you get to shoot faster. And when you get to shoot faster, you do more damage. Uh huh. Very simple. So, all right. Um, anata no, anata wa boku ga kono mura ni, uh, okuri todoketa hanta san da niya. Genki na yote, ni genki na yote, yokata niya. Oh, so it's just saying, um, you are the hunter that I brought to this village, right? So. You, are, you seem to be looking fine, that's good. It's a relief. <laughs> so yeah, I remember, remember in the very first cutscene... Oh, actually, I don't think you guys... Yeah, I probably did not publish it, but... Um, basically, in the very starting cutscene when you start the game, you are brought to this village by a cat riding... Uh, a, yeah, basically by this cat who was controlling a gargoyle cart. So, yeah, so it's, we on the way, you were sort of bump into a Jinoga and things get a little bit hairy but you are fine. 
So this cat is relieved about that. So yeah, and apparently, oh wow, they translated the the Zinoga. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, it's just saying right here um, when Zino uh, Zinoga attacked. So she's she or she had okay. The feline was very surprised and is very very glad that everyone is safe, including itself and you. And so recently, um, Zinoga has been appearing in uh, in this area, and so. Uh, many of the customers are sort of feeling quite, quite what do you call a little bit scared. They're a bit worried. Yeah. So we are some. Uh, so it's basically telling you that um, customers are actually not customers. <laughs> I actually don't really know what's the meaning of this because um, I'm not reading it very carefully but essentially it's just saying that you would like to... So then, okay fine, I'll try and read it. Okay, so I'm uh... Something about... Do something about the Chinoka? Mm, my Japanese level is not that good but I try. So it's telling you to hopefully you'll be able to do something about this this Jinoga and he believes that you can do it. So welcome back. So the well, there will be no match for you. Yes, new quest has come in. It's at the volcano. Yes, the volcano has stayed in for us and well that's um the heat, bring cold drinks if you traveling in a volcano is suicide without them. Yep, so take these. Um volcano new place. So oh you come away. thank you. So basically yes now we've unlocked the four star village quests. So there we go, we can gather stuff in the volcano. I probably might do some gathering off camera and get my new set ready. A set. So yeah. I think this is about it for this episode. So we've taken out the Rathian, we've now uh, unlocked the 4 star village quests. And we are, we've crafted ourselves a new bow right over here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like, if um, you really enjoy this series, and we hope to see you again. MH Geek, signing out.